In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the image sequence feature. I've got my default page layout over here. Click on the section as a whole. Click on the plus icon that appears at the bottom of it. Under the widgets tab, just choose image sequence. Now once our image sequence has gotten uploaded successfully, make sure that it has been selected as a whole. You know that you're doing this right when a bounding box appears around it. Now on the right side of the page, under the contents tab and the image sequence drop down menu, you could adjust the size of the image sequence. You could also choose from the sequence settings to either loop or start stop. You could choose the swipe direction to either clockwise or counterclockwise. You could choose from the various speed options made available to us. You could also choose from the revolution options. You could choose from either yes or no for release acceleration. Let's click on yes for swipe vertically. Now let's go ahead and add images to our image sequence. Click on add images and select all images which are part of the image sequence. Click on open. Once all images have gotten added successfully, click on the cross icon at the top right of the box. And this is our image sequence. Now let's just go ahead and take a look at it. So enter preview mode. And once you swipe on the swipe to rotate to swipe vertically, you should be able to get a 360 degree view of the object. And that's about it on the image sequence feature.